Yo, it's your boy GT here from the Gangster Times. Please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Also hit me up on Instagram, which is gangstertimes underscore official. And on my Snapchat, type in the search box. Gangster so it's been stated that Dale Cregan has been moved into a maximum security psychiatric hospital. So Dale Cregan, who's 37 years old and only has one eye, was recently escorted under armed guard 100 miles to Ashworth Hospital in Merseyside. He was moved out of top security full Sutton in York back to the notorious hospital despite his previous claims of a cushy life there. It is believed that he has spent several brief spells in Ashworth before being moved there in 2015 where he remained for around four years. So back in 2013, Dale Cregan was given a full life sentence for the murders of two police officers and two of his gangland rivals. So PC's Nicola Hughes, who was 23, and Fiona Bone, who was 32, were murdered in 2012 when they answered a 999 call from a house in Hattersley, Greater Manchester, where Cregan was hiding out. And after gunning them down, I believe 30 shots in 31 seconds, he threw hand grenades at their bodies. And he'd been on the run for the murders of Mark Short, who was 23, and his dad David, 46, when he shot the officers. As I stated, Dale Cregan is currently serving a life sentence for brutally killing four people including two police women. So Cregan's killing spree started when he murdered amateur boxer Mark Shorts at a pub in Drollsdon in Manchester. And three other people believed to be related to the victim were also wounded, suffering leg and back injuries. Four months later, Mark Shorts' father David was killed in a gun attack in Clayton. Nine minutes after that incident, police received reports that shots had been fired at a second property in Drollsdon where there was also a grenade blast, but nobody was injured in that incident. So detectives said they wanted to speak to Cregan, who they had actually released in May after linking to the first murder, but they did not have evidence to charge him. And in September that year, he used a fake 999 call to lure officers Fiona Bone and Nicola Hughes to a house. When they arrived, Cregan shot them and threw an M75 grenade at them. Both officers were hit by at least eight bullets as Cregan fired 32 shots in 31 seconds. He later handed himself in at a police station, admitting to the killing of the women. He admitted the attempted murder of three others in a high-profile court case. And during his four-month trial, Cregan was detained at Manchester Prison. The trial was held at Preston Crown Court, where scaffolding was actually erected to accommodate armed officers outside the courthouse. There were police snipers watching over the building, and every single day, Cregan would travel between Manchester and Preston in an armed convoy, including two prison vans, cop cars, motorcycles and a police helicopter, every single day. 120 Greater Manchester police officers were deployed daily. So Cregan was convicted of all four murders and three attempted murders and was sentenced to life in prison with a whole life order and he was told that he would never be released after admitting to the killings. The accomplice Anthony Wilkinson was jailed for a minimum of 35 years for his part in the gun and grenade murder of David Shorts. As an update on Dale Cregan, he's been moved out of jail and into a secure psychiatric hospital. Now guys, if you want to see a video with regards to the incident about Dale Krieg and why he ended up in prison or why the beef actually started, in a few days I'll probably put a video out with regards to this, so keep a lookout for that. It's your boy GT. Keep it locked. Keep it real.